What's up internet? This is Hourglass Gaming and for today's video we're going to move a little bit away from gameplay tactics and commentary and get a little more philosophical. So this was originally going to be a segment of Wednesday's video but as I was writing the outline for that it became clear fairly quickly that this needed to be its own video. And so what I'm going to talk about is an issue that I have with Evolve um, that really doesn't have to do with gameplay at all but has to do with my disappointment with gender and ethnic diversity in the game. So at the first tier, there are four hunters, and two of them are women and two of them are men. And I was really excited about that when I started playing the game, because genders are equally represented in there. But at the second tier, there are three men and a robot, uh, which is considerably less impressive as far as gender equality goes. There are still four more hunters in the game that haven't been revealed yet, but unless all four of them are women, then the game is going to be heavily populated by male characters. In addition to this, there's only one black character in the game so far, and she's one of the two women. And besides that, every other character in the game is white. So basically the issue here is that the gaming industry has a tendency, like many industries, to assume that their audience is entirely composed of white males. If I tell you to picture a gamer in your mind, I'm fairly confident that you and I have a similar picture, and it's of a white dude. This is a problem in all spheres, but particularly in gaming, especially lately with the controversy that's broken out over Gamergate and their harassment and threats towards women. And the reason situations like Gamergate are able to arise is because of representation of women in games like Evolve. Turtle Rock Studios isn't an evil misogynist company, but the thing about evil is that it very rarely focuses on grand plots or global catastrophes. Usually evil is the result of what we do every day because we aren't paying attention. Global warming, imperialism, even the Holocaust, which is arguably mankind's most evil moment, are all results of indifference more than villainy. And the same is true of the way that our society treats women, which is absolutely reprehensible. And Turtle Rock's decision in what gender their hunters should be is a part of that. Basically, we can think of the hunters in Evolve as their own little representation of the human population, which, if Evolve is to be believed, is one-fourth female, one-eighth black, and everything else is a white male. Where are all the other racial groups that populate the Earth? Why aren't there Asian and Indian and Arabic and Latino and Pacific Islanders in Evolve? Why are there five white guys and not a single one of anything else? Maybe the story of the science fiction world that Evolve inhabits explains this, but I expect if we received that explanation it would sound more like a neo-Nazi fantasy than a legitimate origin story for a game. Evolve is designed around what the studio assumes default humans are, which are white guys, despite the fact that most of humanity is in fact not composed of white guys. The issue is that this game then turns around and perpetuates that belief. People play Evolve and they don't see ethnic groups and they don't see women and they think the world is populated only by white guys with the occasional woman to ogle at. You might argue that Turtle Rock is taking small steps and that they're working towards integrating the cast, but if they go full Monty with an all-black lineup then their gamers will freak out and not play the game. Then my counter to this is that the loading screen when players select Val, which is one of the game's two women, um, you'll notice here that Everyone is facing forward except for Val, who is turned conveniently so you can stare at her ass. This is the moment in the game where we realize that Val isn't here to contribute a feminine perspective and presence. She's actually here to indulge your sexy nurse fantasy. And that really pisses me off, and here's why. No, I'm not a woman, and I do have the fortune of being a white male, so my life is about as easy and privileged as it gets. But a whole lot of people I know are women, and they're brilliant, smart, strong, capable people, and their lives are made harder by this kind of bullshit. The lives of my mother and sister and my girlfriend and the daughter that I will someday have and that of many of my friends are harmed by these sorts of depictions of what humans are. Why is it that the two women in the game are in such thin outfits? Why are the assault class males allowed to be chunky when the women need to be skinny? Why are some of the men in incredibly heavy armor, yet the two women are in skin-tight bodysuits? Turtle Rock isn't actively trying to make women's lives worse, but they affirm the ideas of morons by continuing to represent humanity as white and male. Without even trying, they're reinforcing the idea that women should be petite, even if it harms them both physically and psychologically. 
and that they can fight as long as they do it sexily, and that they can be part of a team as long as it's in supportive roles. In addition to this, they've announced to all the world that if you aren't white, they're not going to acknowledge that you exist, because we'd rather have a lineup of six white people than acknowledge that there's a world outside the West. Evolve made a decision not to give players control over the appearance of their characters, and that's a legitimate decision to make. But if you're going to deny people the right to create an in-game avatar that's representative of themselves, then you should at least provide enough diversity that people can find something recognizable to play as. It's absurd that we live in a society where gender and ethnic choice or diversity are considered features that can be absent in a game. If you want to know why we got to a point where people share women's personal information on the internet and make threats to shoot up schools if women are allowed to speak, you have only to look at thousands of years of men acting like women aren't present, like they aren't people we're close to and who we care about. A lot of media acts like women don't exist, and that simply doesn't make sense. Think about how strange it would be if Evolve had a lineup of six women and two men. That would be really weird, which should be unsettling to you because having a lineup of six men and two women is an equally inaccurate representation of what humanity looks like. Until we get it right and have equal representation of gender and ethnicity portrayed in games, then we'll continue to contribute to the oppression that ethnic and gender minorities experience. And it's not a far off and distant issue. Maybe it's you, the viewer, who are negatively impacted by the way media portrays or fails to portray women. And at the very least, there are people you know or care about who are hurt. But beyond that, you shouldn't have to know someone intimately to care about them. Every human being, at every point on the gender and ethnic spectrum, deserves your respect. And if you objectify them or harm them, then you are part of the problem. You are part of the reason the world is such a mess, and you need to figure out how to make it better. Anyway, that's about all I've got for today. I hope you found some part of this interesting or meaningful. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As always, if you'd like to get philosophical about games with me, don't forget to like and subscribe. But most of all, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.